Norman Silberdick, uh, 70 Tide Mill Road, speaking on behalf of uh, Rational Taxpayers of Hampton. Uh, last week I got a letter from the uh, Social Security Administration awarding me a 0.3% uh, increase in my uh, Social Security check, which amounts to $7 a month, and then they increased uh, the medical deductions. Uh, by several hundred hours, so my net result was a reduction in my monthly Social Security check by $150. That uh, put me in a rather uh, agitated state of mind, so I drafted a letter of things that are annoying me at the moment, and I, I'm going to try and tone it down because I, I don't want to, uh, you know, you're a great board, I don't want to insult you, so. Uh, at the last meeting, the, these are in no particular order, um, the last meeting there was a discussion about the forecast for the year and uh, it was indicated that it's running a surplus along the lines of last year. And we thought that was a bit of a soft sell that, and that there isn't a lot of analysis that goes into those numbers. And. Uh, Based on the October year-to-date actuals, we're underspent by a million dollars or 4.5 percent. Whereas in 2015, we were under we had a, we were underspent by 575,000 or two and a half percent. So it's not the same. And in October 2014, we were under we were underspent by 281,000 or 1.2 percent. So the surplus continues to rise in the budgeting process. We went through the budget line item by line item, and we came up with a forecasted surplus this year before any projected spending of $1.4 million, which is about 5% of the total budget. That's not good budgeting. And what that is, an incentive for departments to start spending money. And the taxpayers are being taxed based upon uh, the projected budget, and we think it's been—it's just not good financial management being padded. And we can identify all the areas if you're interested, and we're happy to send you an analysis of it. But uh, giving the taxpayers a 500,000 reduction or million in the uh, undesignated reserve funds. It, it looks like it's a great deal, but it really isn't. So we're very concerned about the whole process, that the budget should be much tighter. Sure, it's great to have a surplus, but certainly not to the extent of 5% of the total budget. Second item I'm, uh, of concern is the right to know. The town manager and selectmen approved the policy, and we believe that if you're, uh, that adds a layer of bureaucracy, and that if you want to have a right to know, you bring a thumb drive into the office and you get back uh, your thumb drive. So that's two trips to, to deal with it. And uh, if you want a hard copy, the cost is now 25, gone from 25 cents to 50 cents a page. And meanwhile, um, Staples and a town library charge 10 cents a page to make a copy. It's sort of providing a disincentive for people to uh, uh, to, to uh, exercise the, the right to know law. I don't think it's appropriate. Third thing of concern is the budget committee. We continue to find a growing level of disrespect between the selectmen and the budget committee. Uh, the budget committee has a job to do. They are citizens giving of their time and effort. It's a great learning process for the people who are on that committee to learn how the town finances and how the town operates. And uh, the continued friction and the lack of timely information going to the budget committee, which affects their scheduling, um, that needs to be taken a look at with the attempt to try and get a much better approach and a better cooperation between this board and the, and the uh, and the uh, budget committee. The money warrant articles. <coughs> Department of Public Works gave a presentation last week that was, uh, to say the least, uh, there were 10 items articulated that add up to 8.3 million. We have a feeling there's more to come. That's a big number. And uh, most of this funding is coming from long-term bonds. And the bonds are going to be have a tax impact for 20 years if, they, if they're uh, approved and set. 
We feel there needs to be limit set, priorities established, and practical solutions. And uh, we, we just were unimpressed with the Department of Public Works. We thought they had poor, get poor marks for preparation, planning, and delivery. And it just seems like they're either the director is over his head or he's burned out or something because he's just, okay, just not. Mr. Chairman, yeah. I, I just don't want. And, and pardon me, Norm, and you got to be getting here four minutes, but I'm not going to sit here and have a department head be called burned out and over his head. It's not, okay, it's not well, that kind of club. Right. Okay. Good point. Yeah. I agree 100%. Okay. You're doing a good job up till there. All right. Thank you. Then I apologize. I don't mean to get into attacking individuals, but I'm, we're just very concerned with the, the, the effort. The Selectman Griffin was the only Selectman who opposed the $4 million um, marsh pipe article. It's something that we have uh, had issues with that and have offered assistance to the Department of Public Works about that. Um, there was also concern between the uh, dialogue between the Chief of Police and the Budget Committee about their private details. I know this caused some concern. It's been in the paper about the uh, about the uh, uh, the inter interaction where there's operational issues being discussed between the budget committee and, and the police chief. We think the police chief is a great guy. Does he has one of the most important jobs in the community? And he was given. He has a large salary. He's given a raise. We just don't see, as a from a policy point of view, what the point is for him to doing any detail work. There's just no basis for it, and he should be here dealing with the with the issues of, of the town and the town only, and not engaged in any other activities for income producing purposes on a personal level. And if any of that stuff happens and it affects a spiking of his pension, we wind up paying for it. And my last issue is the concern about the taxpayer. We're very concerned about, you know, the taxes have gone in in between 1997 and 2003, they went up in 70% in six years. Then they flattened out after 10 years of uh, basically sound financial management. And now we're back in where there's very little analytical skills and a continued need for um, sound financial management. We're very concerned, especially with the school bond issue coming up and $8 million of capital spending and $26 million. The number is rising and rising, and we're looking at uh, potentially we're heading towards 90 Norm, million bucks. Can we wrap it up? That's all I have to say. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you.